happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. I'm Maria Milagros. This is Wisdom Wednesday, a little space on the YouTube interweb that I like to carve out in order to share a little tips, tools, nuggets, stories, anecdotes, whatever it takes to help get us, inspire us, encourage us, educate us, empower us to get to those next levels of healthy and happy. And when I talk about healthy, I'm not just talking about physical health, although I am also talking about physical health. I'm talking about overall health, our mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, emotional, all the healths, right? Because they're all interconnected. And when you have positive effects in one, it creates ripples to the others. Whether we realize that or not, it does. And so um, I like to carve out spaces in order to share little things. So this past week, I had a conversation with one of the brilliant young people that I work with in coaching, and she was talking about her nervousness, her fear, and her excitement about moving from high school to college. And she's very brilliant, and she was talking about this shift between having things pretty much told to you what you're going to do, and now you have to make all these choices. And she's kind of freaking out, right? Of course, totally natural. So we talked about the importance of recognizing one, that you've been making decisions all along. Because a lot of times it feels really scary. All of a sudden I have to make these decisions for my future. I have never had to make decisions before. Yes, you do. You make decisions all the time. Just we're not intentional in recognizing that we make them. And then it feels like this is something brand new. But the reality is it's not. We might be making a new decision, but the idea of making decisions is not new. So then I, my job is to help her get aligned with her own truth and her core values and her stuff so that she's making decisions from that place. If you want to learn more about that, watch my video from last week. So then we talked about how even if she, you know, in fifth grade, they said, this is the math class you're taking. She had to decide how intentional she was going to be in showing up how intentional she was going to be in those work projects, in the homework, in studying for the tests, in asking for help when and if she needed it. She had decisions that she had to make all the time. When she was little in the first grade, chances are her mom dressed her and she didn't have a choice in her clothes. But as time went on and she got older, she made more and more choices for herself about what she liked and didn't like, right? And again, are you making those choices for yourself based on what you think other people will like? Are you making those choices based on your own truth and what you really like and what makes you feel good? That's where the important stuff comes up, right? So when we think about decision making, we've been doing it all along. The question is, have we been intentional about how we're making those decisions and where the source of the how is coming from? Or rather the why. Why are we making those decisions? Where is the source of that why coming from? Is it I'm making the decisions to appease all of these people? Am I making the decision because that's the trend and I have to be on trend? Or is it I'm making this decision because I really like it. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel empowered. It makes me feel like I'm showing my creativity and who I am in my clothes, so on and so forth, right? You get where I'm going. So one of the things that I really wanted to point out to her and that I wanted to share with all of you this week is this idea of having this really big, huge dream. And then we get so caught up in all of the steps between this moment right now and finalizing or realizing or manifesting that moment that we think, I have to do all those things and it's so overwhelming and oh my gosh, it's just, forget it. Why even dream? Why even make those big decisions? And I get that. That makes sense when you're thinking about the thousand of steps in between. But the reality is, y'all, we can only really do one step at a time. That's it. So I, I have decided, and I started doing this a couple of years ago, where I would find myself getting kind of anxious and caught up in this idea of this big dream or this big decision that I made. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to back out because there's so many steps and there's so much to do. But then I remind myself, oh, I can only really do one thing at a time. So I like to do what you, you've heard of and many people have talked about. It's called a brain dump, right? At the very top of the page, I talked about this in a previous video. I write the big dream. And then I just dump all the steps. Everything I can think of, I just dump it on there. And then I just find one that resonates for today or that feels like the logical next step. And I do that step. And then I come back and I do the next step and so on and so forth. In between, I like to cross them off and write the date. So that way, there's no lie, there are some times where I have big dreams and I put the big dream at the top. And then there are like two or three pages of things that I can think of that need to get done to make that happen. And here's the thing. Couple, couple of bits here. One, 
I do what I feel like resonates with me that's gonna bring joy, that feels in, I feel inspired to do, right? I let myself enjoy it while I'm doing it. Then I cross it off and I put the date that it was completed. Then I celebrate myself. That's a really important step that we are taking time to celebrate ourselves because otherwise it feels like grind and work and grind and work and grind and work and you get there and you're like, I'm so exhausted I can't even enjoy it, right? You might as well enjoy the journey and then when you get there, you're so well practiced at enjoying the journey that it's like a big old celebration, right? Celebrate along the way. Celebrate when you get there. So the other thing that I really like is that afterwards when I look at the list and I see all these crosses and all these dates, I'm like, progress. I'm making progress. It might not be in the same timeline as someone else on social media or even in my life who's like, grind, grind, hustle, go. I'm like, no thanks. I did that and I burnt myself out. So instead, I decided to pace myself. I decided I'm gonna take it one step at a time and I'm gonna enjoy it as much as possible and I'm gonna enjoy the moments in between and I'm gonna celebrate myself and I'm gonna do the thing. And I'm gonna do it on my timeline, not on yours or anybody else's, right? Because the reality again is that we can only really do one thing at a time. When we look at the huge gamut, the, the whole list, it, of course that feels overwhelming. Nobody asks you to do the whole list all at once, that's not real. But you can take it one step at a time and then give yourself those moments of celebration in between so that you're enjoying the journey to get to the dream or to get to the finalized decision or whatever it is, right? So when she and I talked about this and I said, okay, let's write the thing, what's the thing? She's like, I'm gonna get my master's degree. Okay, let's scale it back one. I'm gonna get my bachelor's degree, yes, scale it back. I'm gonna get my associates, boom, let's start there. What do we need to do to get your associates? And then she's like, okay, I need to sign up for classes, I need to do do, 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 do. and we wrote it all down. And I said, okay, step away from it, take a deep breath, let's do some breathing, now let's look at the list, where are we starting? And she's like, oh, right here, let's do this. I'm like, let's do it. And we did, first day, right? One thing, two things, 10 things, what feels inspiring to you? One step at a time though. And when you're done with that step, give yourself those moments of celebration because really that's all you have. So when you're thinking about these big decisions that you have to make and you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling anxious about all the things in between, remind yourself that you are one human and you really only have one day at a time. So you should really only take it one step at a time because that's the best way to do it with sanity and with joy because you are deserving and worthy of sanity and joy, not just if or when you achieve your big dreams, but along the way, along the way, y'all, along the way, right? I got a text from her this morning and she's like, oh, I did two more things on the list yesterday. I feel really good. Great. And she's like, today I have too much going on. I'm not getting to the list. I'll get back to it tomorrow. Great. One step at a time. And if we, again, plop it on paper, or I also like to do a digital copy because sometimes I get nervous. Let me be real. That my, like, what if I lose my journal, right? Uh, I have it digitally and I have it with a little circle so I can click it and it crosses it off. And then I type in the date. It's so yummy. Just the idea of like, whew, I did it. I'm moving the needle one step at a time towards my dream, right? So whatever it is in your life, whether it's going back to the gym, whether it's like um, changing the way that you eat, you know, for your health or as, per doctor's orders or whatever, whether it's going to therapy, whether it's going to coaching, whether it's joining a program, taking a class, going to college, whatever it is that you want, any decision that you have to make, give yourself the room and the remembrance, the permission to take it one step at a time and to as much as possible, try to enjoy the journey along the way. Now, I also want to say this. There are some people who are going to say, well, I have a hard decision to make and it doesn't feel like joy. Yeah, but you can honor the journey, right? So if there, and the first thing I thought of was a woman I spoke to recently and she was talking about hospice for her mother. Yes, that's a big decision. So you have to figure out what that's going to look like plop out all the steps, take it one step at a time and give yourself room. So in that honoring of the journey, maybe every time you cross it off, if you feel like crying, give yourself room to cry. Feel it all, process it all because the only way out is through. But we can only take it one step at a time, one step at a time. The other thing I wanna throw in there is sometimes I make these really huge lists and then as I'm going along on the journey, there are some things that I surrender and I was like, yeah, I don't know how that's going to happen. And then it works itself out, right? God, source, universe, whatever you call it, will take some of that stuff off of your list and like, I got that one. And then you're like, ooh, that, that just worked itself out. Cross that off, put the date, right? Give yourself room. 
joy, honor, respect for yourself, for your sanity, for your overall health, and for your happiness because you deserve it. And that's all I have for you. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who can benefit from it, please share it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'll post a video right here from last week about making decisions when you're dealing with doubt and double-mindedness. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you and love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace! Oh, 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 oh,